Hello everyone and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. In today's Tech Tip, we'll be taking a look at the Garmin Spec Software 2021 and focusing on some CAD import options that you can use to help organize your projects and streamline the inspection process much better from the point of setup down to measurement. So for those of you that are unaware of what exactly GOM Inspect is, the GOM Inspect software is used for 3D inspection of your parts by taking scan data that is obtained from either a GOM 3D scanner or any other scanning device, importing it into the project, bringing your CAD model into the project, and performing the evaluations based on the nominal CAD against the actual measured data. So as you can see here, we have a CAD model of an assembly which is used as an overturning mechanism. And you can see that there's quite a number of different components that make up this assembly. However, for the purpose of inspection, we're only really focused on these three components. So the two bearings, as well as the center shaft that runs between them. So we're looking to measure only these three, but of course this CAD file that we have contains all the extra data that we don't need to have in here. So in addition to this, we also have a whole bunch of coordinate systems that were imported in for each specific component. And this just adds to uh, a bit of a mess when we have brought this in into our GOM Inspect project. So we're gonna be taking a look at how we can actually pick out and filter some of these different data sets that come in from the original CAD source and only pick out the ones that we would need and also uh, organize them into specific folders in our project um, to give a more organized look overall. So I'm just going to delete this entire part and let's go ahead and import the assembly file. So we have a number of different import options here where I can directly bring this in and define it as a new part to inspect. I can bring this in as a fixture if I have some kind of fixture that I need to set up with an automated or manual uh, scanning system. Or I can use this clipboard which is just a quick viewer option that I'm going to be taking a look at right now. So this allows us to just uh, view the exact uh, CAD file, what it looks like in the graphics window, and also some of the different um, elements that it contains. So we can see that there's all these different coordinate systems. We can also see that there's a number of different uh, sub-assemblies and components that make up this overall assembly file. And this is exactly how we can control what we want to bring in as an actual part or what we want to define um, as things that are unnecessary and therefore can be discarded. So in the clipboard, uh, it allows us to very quickly view and um, analyze the different data sets that are contained in our CAD project. So I'm going to be looking for these two bearings here and I believe I see one of them here. So this one here, as well as this one. And then the shaft should be this over under shaft. So I'm gonna pick these three options and drag it over and define it as a new part. So once I define this as a new part, you can see that this is my CAD that's been officially declared as a CAD in this project, but everything else uh, that, contain, that is contained within the original assembly file also stays in the clipboard. However, I don't need to use any of this, so I'm simply just going to press this delete button to get rid of that. And then I'm left with uh, just the three components and the two CAD, uh, the coordinate systems that came out with each of them. So it looks like they have duplicates for each. So I'm just going to delete them. Um, and I'm going to label each of these uh, coordinate system shaft, CS bearing two, CS bearing one. So now I have the CAD model that's defined as these three components and then each of the respective coordinate systems. So now what I can further do is if I wanted to inspect each of these parts as their own individual component, I have the ability to then go edit the CAD even after I've uh, defined it from the clipboard and go ahead and actually delete some of these if I need to or define them as their own individual parts. So I'm gonna place this in the clipboard here, uh, define that as my shaft. I'm gonna place this as a new part, defining as bearing one. And then finally, the last bearing here, and define that as bearing two. Now we have these three components, bearing one, two, and three, that I can select and take a look at individually as their own separate component. 
So now if I wanted to go ahead and perform some uh, setup evaluations, so for example, if I wanted to calculate the outer diameter of this cylinder for our shaft, I can create that, define a fitting element. So for example, I would want the max uh, minimum circumscribed, so the maximum possible diameter here. And then as soon as I bring in my, my mesh or the scan data, this will automatically compute and give me the results that I have uh, applied here. So for example, this uh, diameter check, I can even apply GD&T if I wanted to check uh, in this case for cylindricity. So right now the actual components are unpopulated just because I don't have the scan data imported in, but once I have brought it in and aligned it, this will automatically recalculate and give me the uh, results. So that's how we can quickly go from um, a CAD file that has a lot of different unnecessary data uh, and filter them out and only bring in the data sets that we need for the purpose of inspection in our project. That's it for today's Tech Tip Tuesday, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.